Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Logitech F710 gamepad is not working properly after you've updated your Windows 10 computer. So this can definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it before you proceed in the event that anything were to go wrong. So in order to create the backup, all you have to do is select the file and then export option. Save the file name as something that is easily distinguishable, like the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, select all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import, and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing for system. Same thing for current control set. Same thing for control. Locate USB flags and double click on it. And if you need to pause the video at this point, take note of our file path at the top of the registry window here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. And you want to just go ahead and left click and navigate to the folder that starts in 046 D321F0305. And you want to right click in a blank area on the right side, select new, and then select binary value. The first value you want to call you want a name is OSVC. Hit enter. Double click on this. Now for value data you want to just type in 0, 1 and then type 9, 0. And this is all numerical here. Exactly how you see it on my screen. Select OK. And now you want to right click in another area underneath of here. In the same panel on the right side. Select new and then select binary value again. You're going to call this value skip container ID query. Exactly how it appears on my screen. I'll have this in the description of the video as well. Hit enter on your keyboard. Double click on this value we just created. You want to type 01, 00, zero. Exactly how it appears on my screen. Select OK. At this point, you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should hopefully have been about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.